Hello everyone, and welcome back to the second part of where to start with Linux. In the first part, we uh, saw a couple of options um, for some Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Zorin OS, HackOS, Fedora, and a few uh, other things. And you see you have indeed more than those options I presented. It's a huge ecosystem. Uh, according to <clears throat> Linux Foundation, <laughs> roughly 600 uh, distributions of Linux are available worldwide. But I just presented basically a couple of them which are most used uh, uh, at this point in time, at least for desktop users. Uh, now, I also read the comments and I do appreciate uh, your time to uh, interact there uh, with me. And I noticed that a lot of you are interested in, uh, in switching to Linux for uh, the reasons that I shared with you and for your own personal reasons. And I welcome you to go ahead with it and start using it because you'll only, <laughs> you'll only win. So I'm very happy to see a lot of people are switching now to, to Linux. This is probably one of the best time to actually go into it. But I've also seen some raised concerns. <clears throat> some tea time. I drink a lot of tea. So uh, it's helping me a lot. Um, <clears throat> so some of the concerns that uh, some of you have, can I game on it? Definitely, yes. Uh, also, where do I start? How do I learn? Uh, where is the best place to learn? I can't figure out certain things. That's OK. I'll present in this video a couple of options where to start and uh, address some of you know, uh, those fears that you have. So first things first, a lot of you came here for gaming. Yes, you can game. That's what I said. <clears throat> you have something like KakiOS. And out of the box, if you go to download, you have this handheld edition. Install this one, and they install for you automatically also Steam OS uh, ready for gaming, the necessary drivers if you have NVIDIA or AMD uh, support, and uh, all of the necessary stuff ready for you to game. Just install it, then install your games and play it. How is this working? I'm going to explain in a moment. Then you have something like a Nobara, which is basically a distribution based on KakiOS. They feel and look a bit different than KakiOS, but in the end of the day, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's just that KakiOS, in my opinion, has a better integration than Nobara. But go ahead and use it as well. Uh, see which one do you like better and just stick with it. But with games, yes, it's in the same direction and do actually work. So you can game, that's no problem. Uh, for the vast majority of the games, I, I'm, I, I think at this point in time, beyond 98% of the games do work on Linux via Steam and uh, Wine and Proton. Um, <clears throat> if we go to uh, Steam, so it was this thing, published some time ago, which is called Steam Play. So uh, Steam introduced this back in 2010, and this is the reason. A way for Steam users to access Windows, Mac, and Linux versions of Steam games with a single purchase. So basically you play paid once a game, then that game works uh, on all these platforms without any kind of issue in general. So back then they said 3000 games uh, have been added to the Steam, more than 3,000 have, uh, have been added to Steam after the, that point uh, and have included Linux support. So basically, I think now probably more than 4,000 games uh, are up to date on, on Steam and they're actually growing, growing in support. Um, that's pretty good because that actually have the support for the Vulkan engine, which is uh, um, something that uses instead of DirectX, which works very well on Linux without any kind of issues. So yeah, can you game? Definitely. Uh, also on Linux, if you want to, uh, I'm sorry, on, on SteamOS, go here, store.powered.com, whatever. Um, and then you go to uh, categories. And if you go to Steam OS plus Linux, 
get tons and tons of, of games that out of the box, they're compatible also with uh, Linux and you can play it on Linux, that's no problem. And by no means small, uh, small, you know, uh, names in games. Um, lots and lots of things like Tomb Raider, uh, you have Doom, you have literally lots and lots and lots of games that do work out of the box. Um, just go ahead, uh, explore and see what's what. Now, in terms of where do I start to actually learn Linux, how to use the operating system, maybe also introduction to terminal and other uh, powerful features of Linux. Uh, one of the websites I can recommend is linuxjourney.com. Um, they have some trainings and tutorials here. Uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, how you can get started. <laughs> It starts to get you through some history, uh, some quizzes. Uh, just go ahead, use this website, really. You're going to enjoy it. Um, let me just go back a bit. Also, something like command line. You can start to uh, see what is the command line, how you can use it, and so forth. Do you really must know command line? No, not really. You have a user interface like I have here. As you can see, uh, you can easily install games, uh, you can install applications. That's not an issue. <clears throat> now, what else? There is also this website, which is very good, 30 Days of Linux, a complete guide for beginners. Take your time, go through it. Uh, you'll find a lot of interesting content and actually introduce you as a general concept of Linux. Uh, why use uh, also Linux command, basic operation system, anything else, package manage management, it's something uh, you will get accustomed with as well. If you like more than, you know, maybe you want to see video trainings and tutorials that are, uh, you know, uh, in a teachable manner, for example, Udemy. Granted, they're paid, of course, but some of them are really good and I strongly recommend to use Udemy as well. But you also have YouTube. You go here, look for Linux for beginners, then you get tons of stuff. Or how about Linux full course? Again, you have lots and lots of, uh, you know, uh, for example, this one is six hours long. Uh, lots of third digs is 11 hours long. Lots and lots of stuff. But maybe you want to be, you know, extremely specific. How about Linux? Uh, how about Ubuntu full course? There you go. There is an Ubuntu full course. You can see by dates, uh, you know, what's the best things or search for Ubuntu full course, Ubuntu 24.04 full course. Again, you have lots of stuff or maybe just uh, for, for beginners, you see, or maybe something else like, let's see, um, I don't know, Fedora for beginners. You can do it like that. And anything else that you want. You see also gaming on Fedora. <laughs> there you go. So you can use that. That's no problem. What other option? Let's say you go to uh, Ubuntu and you want to try that. Yeah. So you have here uh, under the uh, community, you have uh, tutorials, documentation, Ask Ubuntu. It's a large community as well. For example, if I open this one, uh, you can see there's lots and lots of, uh, of question answers here. How can I create new partition installing Windows 10 and Ubuntu 24, for example? It's a use case. People come here, ask a question, a lot of people come and answer. So that's no problem. You can do that as well. How about documentation or tutorials? You have it here. You go click. Now, it depends from one operating system to the other and their websites. But in general, this is how you would go about and search. So where do you start? And uh, that's all good, but how about if you want even more human type approach? My advice to you is to go and install Discord. Discord is not only for gaming. Actually, uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know, Discord uh, has communities, official communities, or even Microsoft, Amazon, Google, uh, and many other large corporations that would have gaming hardware, uh, games, of course, because a lot of people are like, yeah, I go to Discord and game, but it's not only that. Linux, heck yeah, definitely. 
So once you installed this uh, this thing, uh, you uh, open it. <clears throat> of course, you need to create an account. There's no problem. Yeah, just a moment here. It asks for my username and password. So as soon as I logged in, um, you can see in here tons and tons of channels. A lot of them is with development. Uh, in my case, uh, either for gaming development or uh, you know software development channels, uh, and of course Linux. I mean, this one is for CACUS. And uh, if uh, you would go here, you would see that people, you know, start to talk to each other. Hey, welcome, wherever you come and ask questions. For example, uh, people come here and say, yeah, uh, you know, uh, help me. I have a problem. You type it in and people start to get some, uh, you know, uh, help for you. For example, this guy said, I know, I just run a Steam and then update to the beta. Been using since family, whatever, something. I had to delete beta packages. So people may have some problems installing and so forth, but here they post it and then they come up with, uh, you know, with solutions. For example, if I go to support, I can see something, uh, you know, say, hey, something is not working for me properly. What do I do? And then you type it in here and people come and say, hey, this is the solution. Um, this is how you uh, you help. This is how you install things. So you do it like that. Um, I have example also for BS community, a software that I use for uh, recording. The same deal, as you can see, Fedora Linux is as well as here. Uh, also Nobara and many other, uh, you know, community uh, options. So how would you find these communities? Uh, it's two ways. For once, you can go here where it says discover. You go to search and say Linux. Once you type that in, guess what? You have... Uh, Lots and lots of communities. Linux server.io. I'm already in here. Fedora Linux. I'm already here. Arch Linux community, my friend. Do you want to join this one? No problem. You just click on it and say join Arch Linux community on top. Yes, I want to join. Do you have some process? Some of them have this, uh, you know, uh, customization. So how do you want to uh, call yourself? In my case, it's he, him. I'm a man, I know what I am, so that's no problem. Finish. Oh, hello, let's go. <laughs> and once this is uh, done, you can see here, you're already on the Arch community uh, thing. And I can take this and move it here as well. And then you can start read. Hey, they have uh, moderations. Sometimes they have channels for talking live or whatever uh, have you. Yes, you can see Linux topics in here. And people start to chat, present what they install, what they do, different kind of things. I mean, look at this guy. He has a completely different interface than you would uh, see, uh, you know, uh, on, on other uh, desktop distributions. And that's what I said. Linux is amazing and customizations. Watch the other videos I, I have, which will be linked into the description as well. Gaming. Yes, you can do <laughs> whatever. So this is the power of uh, of uh, of uh, desktop, uh, you know, um, using I'm sorry, Discord. So go ahead, uh, explore uh, all of these things. You have tons and tons of stuff uh, to explore. Don't be afraid to ask. Uh, that is. Uh, the most important thing and choose one Linux that you know uh, kind of you like the way it look or sounds or <laughs> whatever other criteria you may want and just go with it and then you'll find help online without any kind of uh, problems as you can see um, if you have any other questions or you want to know maybe more about the topic or getting help and other stuff uh, feel free to write in the comments and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in uh, in the next ones. Thank you.